Evening boys and girls, because it is evening at the moment, probably not when you're watching this, but hey-ho, it's mattherealtoyshop.com. What have we got here? Well, early 70s, late 60s, Mitsubishi bought the licence to Woolies Jeeps and continued making them in Japan, where this one has just come from. Something extremely fun bit rare and certainly not seen over here this thing is a 1973 vehicle the condition is just nuts I walk you around it nice set of geolander tires on there it's got a winch look at these in the wings look at it we have many cars from Japan and they're always in Lovely, lovely, lovely order. They just don't rust and things like ours do. Added bonus of this thing, of course, if you're looking at Willie's Jeeps, the steering wheel's usually on the other side. And the other thing this one's got, it's got a heater. That's the big red thing down there. So, uh, I'm coming in here, look. So we'll have a waggle around. Show me what's what in here. But for a 1972 vehicle, just look at it. You are going to have some mad mad fun in here i know i've had a little bit of fun already in it so it's ace there are sort of seat belts there of sorts you know whether you use them or not i don't think you have to to be honest but there you go you're getting the drift what a thing 2.3 mitsubishi four cylinder motor starts on the button and it's as quiet as a mouse we'll get to that in a minute as well let you have a listen but for now let's Let's have a look under here again. So here we are, we're underneath. Those tyres are obviously brand spankers. Beautiful old patinaed canvas tilt on there. All waterproof and nice. There you go, you've got the jerry can. Obligatory long aerial. Now, obviously this is some sort of military style hook. It's like a plug under there somewhere. I saw for electric as well, but it was different to anything I've ever seen. Can't find it now anyway. I'm probably lying to you. Oh no, there it is. There, knew I'd seen something. Never seen one of them in my life. There you go. Seen one now. Probably military. Japanese military at that. Registered in the UK now. All done and dusted for you. So all you've got to do, jump in it and drive the damn thing. And have fun on the way. We can help with your delivery. If you're at the top of Scotland or Cornwall and you don't fancy a long trek home, which is going to be, look at that, look at that, flares. Always get them in Japan, always get them. Say the top comes off, as you can imagine, once you've whipped that top off, you are summer motoring at its best. That radio is the original, I think, and it doesn't work. So have fun with that. Might do with a bit of fuse or something like that, but I have not looked into that. Heater does though, and that's important. It's four-wheel drive as well. Not all the wheelies were, but this one is. This beauty, 1930s fire extinguisher. Fitted that myself, because it looked nice. There was actually a clip there for something before it was missing. It hasn't been shot, that's a sticker. And so are they, but they look pretty cool, fit in with the uh, thing, but you can just take them off, obviously, if you want. Got the tow hitches and stuff like that on there as well. Your winch. It's just, what a piece of kit. Let's go under the bonnet, shall we? Got the two things, I've unlocked them already. Go around to the bonnet, pull. Let's have a look under there. My videoing, as you see, I'm no David Bailey or whoever else does videos. Probably Tarantino, is it? Yeah, he'll, he'll do a couple. But anyway, under here, just as you'd expect, a bit dusty, but beautiful. And I tell you what, this is something, every car should have had this back in the day, but anyway, down there, I don't know if you can see it in my little vid there, point that in there, see that? That is a glass window on your float chamber. So you can see, you can see if there's petrol in it. Ace. Now we've registered with the DVLA, it's a Mitsubishi Jeep. As I say, these were built under licence. 
well not under license they bought the bought the rights so they built them in japan um up to not that long ago to be honest but they weren't quite as good as this i don't think they, they went a bit weird but anyway this one you've got that willy's look but with that engine it just makes it so much more usable it's nippy it's quiet it's really quiet actually and you can just imagine that with the top off you're gonna to have to tell someone's gonna to have to be um you know ultra in the know to know this into willies until they see them mitsubishi badges dvla in their wisdom we told them it was a mitsubishi jeep and they've put it down as a jeep on the logbook so that's cool it doesn't say mitsubishi it just says jeep they're good aren't they seats are all in good order everything about the car is so let's make some noise we all know you want to let's hear it now I don't know if the microphone's picking that up well but that is one quiet engine 1972 quiet as a mouse let me stick that out there Even sounds good. Listen to that exhaust burble. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look at them. You are not going to have a problem with your keys going wrong with that one. That's it. And then when you want to burgle it, you can put your hand in there, look. So this is going to be a fantastic idea for all of us to own this. Because, you know, I won't mind keeping it myself because it's ace. But, if you think I need to sneak this past the missus, get her ass first. Give us a ring by all means, we'll have a chat to you about anything you've got. We'll talk to you if you've got a Partex or whatever, with a Partex form on the website, therealtoyshop.com. Just fill your details in on there. It only takes a minute and then at the end of the day, when you're having beer, I'll do my own work just for you, get you a price. Not sure if we could finance it we might be able to we'll give it a go for that you need to speak to lisa her numbers on the website realtoyshop.com speak to her about that and if you like i say if you're struggling for delivery we might be able to help out there at a better rate than you know other people so you've got everything you need here if you've got to ask your missus you might want to use that <laughs> or grow a pair or that who knows? But we heard it run. You've seen it. You've heard me waffle about it now. For a good eight, nine minutes. You know if you want it or not, don't you? And you should do. All these sort of 40s revivals and stuff. I know it's not a 40s car, but it looks the bit, doesn't it? Every bit is cool. So, if you like the little video, Give us a like and subscribe. Apparently it's good for us. At the end of the day, shows a bit of love. We know what we're doing here. It's appreciated by all you guys out there. So there you go. 1973 Mitsubishi 2.3 Jeep. Pretty much the same as a Willys, but probably more usable. Give us a like and subscribe. Give us a call. Ask your missus first and... Let's get this down to you and in your shed so you can start playing. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Over to you.